Hello everyone, it's me, the Mean Minnow, and we are going to do another Don't Starve Reign of Giants Let's Play. I've been playing a lot of this game, I have some bad news. After the last Let's Play of this game, I died. Uh, when I turned the camera off, I got a little carried away and kept playing without recording it, of course, and then I was killed. So, I started a new game, and... It's a better map, and it's better all around. If you remember the last map, we spawned, and there wasn't any meat, and we were just struggling to survive. I'm going to turn down my volume just a little bit, which you can't hear anyway, but for now, it's going to have to do. Uh, so in this map, let me just pull it up real quick. We have about a million beefalo off to our, uh, well, her right, the map's left-hand side over here. We, uh, I got, I, I ran down here and I got a bunch of the stone that's down here. Um, so I'm going to be able to build a couple of things. We need, uh, we need to get some more wood in the morning. I've got a bunch of gears already. Um, I got a tall bird egg, which I don't even know. I think I can do something else with it, but I, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I got this by killing tall birds. That's how I have this extra, uh, meat right here. There's a few rabbit holes over here, so I have some traps set up. I even got a little bit of rabbit meat right there. Um, but winter is coming. That joke never will <laughs> will never die with this game, will it? We need to get a ton of wood right now. I need to build my alchemy engine and a chest. That will... Um, allow me to do a couple of things, but uh, we definitely need to get that going. We need to get a shovel, which I could I could do that right now. We can build a shovel. Uh, where the heck are shovels? How come I can never find it? They're up here. Uh, so that we can dig this up, and it's morning. All right, let's uh, get this back on. So I have those traps going, and oh my god, my trees already grew. These were just seedlings just the other day. They were the beech nuts or whatever. Now they're kind of big. I'm going to leave those. You can see the beefalo are a little bit too close to my base. I don't like having beefalo right here. But if we run over here, what you'll notice is there's just a ton of beefalo uh, on this map. I've never seen a map like this with so, so many. Look at this massive herds of beefalo. So we're not going to run out of meat. I'll uh, I'll say that. We're also not going to have a hard time when uh, deer collapse comes around um, or anything like that. It is going to be a pain to try to take these beefalo out. As you know, the, uh, you know they get kind of ornery. They don't like it when uh, you attack their friends. So they are hard to handle when they're in large groups like that, but uh, we'll just we'll just have to see what we can do. But right now, we need that wood. Like I said, I want to get all that other stuff taken care of. And there are trees not too far away. This is a major help. So we're going to take a couple of these down right now. And I guess we'll take the seeds as well. We don't really need them. I guess if they turn into tr tree giants or whatever they're called, uh, we will need them, but right now it doesn't seem to be that much of an issue. Let me get some of these bigger ones. I'd like to get probably, I don't know, I'd say two stacks of wood to right now before before night falls. Then I would like to build the log suit and I'd like to take out at least some of those beefalo that are closest uh, to my base. That'll give us some food. That'll give us some beefalo wool. That'll allow us to build beefalo hats, which we need. The beefalo hats uh, will protect us from the beefalo when they're breeding. Plus, the beefalo hats will keep us warm during winter. I actually prefer the beefalo hat to the winter hat. I don't know, I, you know, I can't prove it. 
that it's better, but uh, to me, I think it's better. The other thing we're going to build is a uh, heat stone, the thermal stone. That will allow us to, uh, you know, I find with a thermal stone and a beefalo hat, you really don't need to worry about having a winter coat or, you know, a puffer vest, whatever, any of that in this game. The, uh, both of those things seem to provide enough heat for you to be out uh, in the elements for a decent amount of time. And unfortunately, now that I'm looking at my kind of situation here, uh, I'm a little bit worried about our stone. We don't have a ton of stones. And I know I need to refine some so that I can build our alchemy engine. Well, no, we may be all right. But I wanted to build some other stuff. Okay, this is perfect. That gave us our two stacks. We're going to eat that. Um, the only other problem I see, yeah, I, I mean, the stone and the gold thing might be an issue. The reason we need stone and gold is so that we can build her spear and her battle helmet, um, which, you know, prevents her, Wigfrid, from taking a ton of damage. Uh, she can pretty much tank really, really well um, with that helmet on, so the, the hat that she's got there. Let's see, can we get him far enough away from his friends? Can we get them to stop chasing us, kind of? Can we drag him down here? Looks like it. So I obviously, I can't do that for every single one of those up there. I mean, it's just going to take forever. So we, we need to, I'm, I'm hoping that I get attacked by hounds, of course, because we can take the hounds to these three right here. And, you know, that'll pretty much make short work of those guys. I guess we could drag them down a little bit. The three I'm not worried about. The, the, the ones above me and to the side of me are, are pretty much going to be the issue. Need to set that trap properly. Uh, let's put that there again. I need to go let a forest on fire, that is for sure. I'm gonna actually just waste that. We're gonna cook this right up. She's hungry. And she took a little bit of damage, but it's not a big deal. I like to get her fully fully fed. So let's see. We just need to refine four of these. Well, actually, we need seven. I want to build at least one chest. So let's uh, put that out right there. Let's build this chest right here then let's get rid of a lot of this junk that tall bird egg I've never in the whole time that I've been playing this game and I played a lot I have never used a tall bird egg I, I don't know even what it's for so uh, we're gonna have to figure that one out uh, what's next oh we gotta build our fridge Pretty much with Wigfrid, you want to get that going right away. The fridge. Oh my god, I did that in the last game as well. I clicked off. Okay, so let's stop clicking off my screen. Build a fridge. The ice box. They call it a fridge, but whatever. It's what it is. Uh, well, and of course it's going to rain. It wouldn't be don't starve if it wasn't raining now, would it? Let's get that thermal stone. Do I have what I need? Yes. Uh, yeah. I like keeping a thermal stone in my backpack. 
and uh, at night you just stand by the fire like this. Your thermal stone will turn orange and uh, or yellow. I think it pretty much only stays yellow. I think it has to be right next to the fire to turn orange, but um, that will kind of keep us warm, warm us up. You can see it turned from blue to gray. Uh, I'm not so worried about it right now, um, but it will that will become a problem uh, as it turns to winter. And what the heck is going on? I think I'm too hot. Is it summer? Is that her problem? It's summer right now? How is she even hot? Uh, this is annoying. There, okay. Now that we got rid of that thermal stone, we really don't have to worry about it. So I take it that it's summer, which is a little bit surprising. Need a little bit of grass. We need like a lot of grass, actually. I need to build a ton of traps. We, we need to go on a run to go get a, a bunch of twigs. All right, let's get this guy down here. Two I can handle. Okay, this is the problem. When she loses her helmet, she takes way more damage. But the other good news about Wigfrid is that um, when she kills things, she gains power. So you notice that her health actually went up uh, when I killed that guy. So that's cool. All right, where, where do we get... Okay, so we have enough to make her battle helm. That's good. That'll keep us alive just a little bit longer. Uh, what did I want to do? I had a very, I had a very specific thing that I wanted to do. I think I wanted to take care of those beefalo. Actually, that really helps us out big time. So we got two down, and uh, let's take care of this one right here. I believe that those beefalo, these ones here, were the ones that were closest to my base in the first place. Well, look at that, perfect. Do I have any twigs? I have some, but I need a lot more. Of course, there aren't any rabbits uh, <laughs> coming into these traps at all. I can put a trap up there as well. Let's uh, pop some of this meat in there. Um, hmm. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I, I want to go burn down a forest so that we can get some charcoal. The charcoal will allow us to uh, build jerky racks, which we need the drying racks so we can dry our meat out. I'm going to keep that rabbit meat. Actually, I'm going to take this one too because we're going to need it. Build a torch. The closest forest. So, well, uh, let's try it. these trees. As long as they're close together, we should be able to burn down a bunch all at once. Although, look at I have these trees right here. It's not going to offer me enough. I need to build a bunch of drying racks. I like to get a bunch of jerky going right off the bat with Wigfrid. It's pretty much the best way to survive with her. It's only, it's kind of the only way. You get a bunch of uh, beefalo jerky, the big jerky, and a bunch of rabbit jerky, just the tiny um, jerkies, basically. Is that another? Yeah. All right, that guy's got way too many friends. You can see, these. Are, this is what I'm talking about. These herds are crazy uh, on this map. So let's go burn down all of this right here. I can never move away quick enough. See? Always, always, always die. Let's start digging up some saplings as well. 
we need a lot of saplings. Start planting them pretty close to our base. I think what we'll do in the day is we will go do some exploring, but we'll go out, we'll go, maybe we'll spend like two days out, and that will allow us to get a bunch more saplings. We'll collect it, we'll, we'll empty out, we'll pretty much empty out everything in here. We'll get a bunch of saplings going, uh, and then we'll plant them up close. I like to have about, I'd say, a huge farm, 150 to 200 saplings, and pretty much the same thing with the grass. I like to have a ton of grass nearby. When it gets to winter, that stuff uh, grows really, really slowly, um, and that makes it really difficult um, to collect all those things in winter. So if you have them close by, and then you can just let them build up, uh, and you just create chests and you store that stuff, you'll always have it. You don't have to worry about it. It seems like resource management is the hardest part of this game, no doubt. Trying to just manage your resources. And it pretty much, the, most of the complaints that I've seen on uh, the, about Don't Starve have all been people complaining about the fact that you constantly have to collect stuff, which is a problem. But if you collect the important stuff in your first, you know, 100 days of, of gameplay, um, you know, or I should say in-game, 100 days, 100 don't starve days, not real days. Uh, if you spend those first 100 days or so making sure that you stock everything up, if you can survive that long in the first place, um, then you can pretty much survive indefinitely. And you, know, you really never uh, have to worry about much at all. It's just that initial, just initially trying to build up that is the problem. All right, let's put that in there. We need uh, we need rope desperately. I don't know, actually. Let's see. Well, that gives us one. We need a lot more than this for Wigfred to survive. All right, let's get rid of that. Um, let's eat that and we're gonna cook this rabbit meat up. We're going to eat it. We're going to get to empty out a lot of this, right? We'll keep that. We don't need this crappy spear. We should be able to make one of her spears, at least. We'll keep that anyway. <clears throat> we'll put that in there. Well, actually, we'll plant these close by in the morning. Keep the wood because we need it. And that, okay, so that opens us up a lot. All right, I'm going to start planting these down here. This right here will just end up being my emergency wood, so I'll just leave that there only for emergencies. I won't use it um, for a long time. Actually, that was kind of a waste of time what we just did because what I need is I need to make sure that I take at least, I would say, let's take, uh, well, take five of them. Who knows how long we're going to be out and, and finding meat when you're uh, far away from your house is almost impossible. Unless we get lucky, we run into a bunch of pigmen or frogs or something like that while we are out. Which brings me to the point of needing to look at our map. I think we're going to go... Well, truthfully, we're going to go right back over here. And I have those two traps. So we're going to collect those. But there are a bunch of saplings down there. We're going to dig them all up. We're going to try to get as many stacks as we possibly can.
and try to collect as many twigs as we possibly can while we are doing that. And unfortunately, there's not a road straight to it. That would just make it too easy. I did notice that marble earlier. We're going to come back and collect it at a later time. I think when we decide to go down into a cave, that's when we'll kind of come back and collect all that stuff. Just for the extra protection, which also brings me to the next point that, guess what? You're going to have to wait till the next episode to find out what happens next. It will get more exciting as these episodes go on because that's how this game works. It's pretty boring in the beginning, then it gets more exciting as you fight more giants. So thank you for watching. I am the Mean Minnow. Definitely check out the channel because I review and look at a bunch of indie games.